welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Now, let's see what she says. If I come back up again, just because she allowed it last time doesn't mean she's necessarily going to allow it this time. It's all right. That left foot is kind of cocked, but it also looks like it's kind of ready to push away. It's all right, Evie. It's all right. It's all right. Making noises. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, Eve. Can we get all the way today? I don't think so. Can we get halfway today? I hope so. It's all right. Ah, she just, it made a noise. It's almost halfway, she's looking. She's kind of, she's still cocked on her back, but she just uh, showed a little bit of stress, like she was gonna bolt away. It's all right. A little more. Good girl. Is this my moment of resolution? hard to decide sometimes. What do you think, Katie? I just don't want you to get kicked. <laughs> yeah, oh, she's worried about me getting kicked and it's my left leg and left hip that would be kicked. Okay, we don't have a fourth person today. I wish we did. I'm gonna back off as straight as I can. It's gonna make noise. It's all right, Evie. It's all right. It's wood, so it's not exactly light, but fortunately the wheels are helping. Yeah. Very nice. Well, that's about as far as we've gotten in the last few sessions to getting these shafts down the sides of Eve's body far enough so that we can try those tug straps and make sure they're going to fit. It'll be a while before we even think about hooking them up. But now let me take them off here and show you and I hope you'll stay tuned in future sessions and future shows. Here they are. They've got clasps on one end so that we can hook to the uh, eye bolts. And they've got holes, which we added some, some extra holes on the other end. Come on, Eve. It's all right, Evie. So that we can hook to the buckle that's on the collar. And then, if the length is going to work for us, one of these days, we'll actually hook the clasp to the eye bolt. But of course, we're going to have to be very, very careful that Eve is going to allow something like a four cart, or maybe we'll go back to a simulated something, uh, allow her sur single, her harness, on her to pull something that's making noise and feeling like a pull. When we next have a team of three helpers, we will attempt to bring the shafts all the way to Eve's shoulders. Then maybe we can fit the tug straps. It's been about two weeks since we last worked with Eve because I didn't have a team together um, to devote to our repetition and our next steps. So, uh, we're going to repeat a little bit and maybe get those shafts to her shoulders and maybe get our straps. Uh, cameraman Kyle, can you look at the straps? They're right there hanging on where I'm pointing. Get those straps actually uh, measured to make sure that from the collar to the eye bolts of the four cart, they are long enough and we have enough holes in them. One small step at a time. I've already walked up to the sides of her body. She heard the four cart. She smelled it. Now I'm going to, I wish we had a fourth person, but that's hard. It's hard to get a team together. Timely. It's all right, Eve. She's watching with her left eyeball. See how we're up against the fence. It's all right. If we can't get to the shoulders today, that's okay. This is just will be a repetition. I touched her on her right hip. And you see, she moved her, uh, her, her head to the right. Okay, Evie. She has to get used to these feelings. That's all right, Evie. It's all right. And the sounds. The wheels are making sounds. It's all right, Eve. It's all right. Now, if she starts dancing around, I've got to pull this four card back out of the way. 
I don't want her running into the four car chavs and having them break and spooking her more. It's all right, Eve. Yes, my darling. We're at least as far as we were last time. I'm kind of in strike zone here, but Evie's not generally a kicker, even if she's spooked. It's all right, Eve. It's all right. It's all right. See, if we had a fourth person, we could have somebody on both sides of the shafts, which would be safer. It's all right, Eve. It's all right. Good girl, Eve. Kyle, if you could uh, just leave the camera on us and walk over here, let her know you're coming. I'm watching her body language every single square inch. I will pull away if I have to. This is about the position that the four cart would be. Okay, now she's watching me and you. No, walk behind me, walk behind me. Okay, what I'm gonna ask you to do, Kyle, is go to the other side of the four cart. It's all right, and she's watching you, and hold up that shaft on your side. It's kind of heavy, yeah. got it? Yeah. Okay, hand me the, it's all right, making noises, making no over, over the shafts, got it? Yeah. Watch your body language, you're touching, the shaft on the right here is touching her. It's all right, Eve. Sarah, can you, with one hand, hold this up to this ring? It's all right, Eve. Okay, girl. It's all right, Eve. Clearing the shaft holders. Am I gonna make it? I think it goes opposite. Yes, you're right. But the, it was the length that I was concerned about. Here, take okay. that. This would go right to yes, here. Yes, that's right. And then we have the extra length of the buckle. Thank you. That. That makes it perfect. We've got the right length. Okay, let's, uh, don't drop. Yeah, well, I was gonna say don't drop it, but that's okay. We just don't wanna make any unusual noises. Let's, uh, it's all right, Eve. It's all right. Sorry, girl. Okay, now back off. It's gonna make noise. It's all right, Eve. Try not to touch her at this point in her training, but we have to do this enough so that we're not worried about touching her. Are we clear? Yeah. Okay, if you can go back to the camera. Uh, we have taken the next baby step. We have found a moment of resolution. I'm really pleased with Eve's progress. Her, her discomfort with the britching, I'm gonna touch her now, it's all right. Seems to be over, past, uh, Sarah said. Uh, is that true? No problem putting the harness on. I wasn't even out here. No problem. No problem walking over here. No problem. Okay, oh, about Two, three months ago, we had a spook uh, on another part of this pasture. Some kids across the street uh, scared her. And since then, for about a month or so, she was afraid of the britchen in her spook. This britchen, which is unusual for horses to carry. Mules tend to carry them and donkeys much more. She uh, must have, in her spook, been constricted by this britchen because it took us a while to get her desensitized again to the britchen and then sensitized in such a way that we could walk around, circle her, straight paths, backwards, forward, with britchen on, and it's just another piece of tack to her, finally, again. Our next session with Eve. We don't have mics on today, so we're all gonna talk kind of loud. We're doing a repetition. Unfortunately, we only have three people today. I wished we had four. It's all right, Eve. I've already walked around, Eve, and she's okay on it. It's okay, girl. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Last time we got all the way to where the tug straps. It's all right, Eve. Ah, she, ah, she's getting all tight back here. She's still concerned. We got all the way to where the tug straps would be strapped on. It's all right, Evie. Right here, the tug straps are strapped onto the collar that has a buckle. She's okay. But now we want to go to the next step, and that is walk a few steps forward with her and the cart behind her, rattling. She sees it, but not connected, not yet. Okay, so swing that gate open, and let's say three steps with the cart. She's already watching, she's bug-eyed. Okay, you walk, you walk forward. Ah, she definitely, it was a different chore, a different task with movement. 
Let's go back again. Let's uh, repeat. We just need to do this enough so that when she's walking and she hears the rattle and feels the shafts, she doesn't mind. She minded just now. You could see it in her body language. So gate gets closed. We're going to do the same thing now that we've done already many times. Walk up to her when she's got her breast against a, a fence so she doesn't push forward and walk away. Let's go back farther. Okay, let's, let's move back farther and uh, see if we can't hear. Got to get right behind her. We have to go way far back so that we can come in straight. It's all right, Eve. Let's That's stop for a minute. Wait, wait. Let's stop. Let's give her plenty of time to accept it a little bit more. It's all right. It's okay, girl. Yeah, Evie. She's not bug-eyed. Her ears are back. Do you feel stress, Sarah? A little bit, but I think it come up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, okay. It's okay, girl. It's all right, Evie. Okay, we're not going to go all the way up to the collar this time. You reach over. See if you can take three steps. We'll go three steps with you. It's all right, Eve. It's all right. Good girl. Easy, girl. Easy, girl. Easy now. Now, you see, as we walked on the ground, it's not even. The uh, shafts touched her hips. But did she seem as stressed this time? No. No. We're going to try it. I hope one more time and find a note of resolution. Let's go way out. need to be because this is potentially a very dangerous activity but if you've got a good farming horse that you've done this with enough it's a wonderfully satisfying task to achieve I love to watch the Amish, Amish with their farming horses and RFD TV had two gorgeous large Amish horses pulling a sled on grass like this it wasn't even a sled on snow, and the horses were just gorgeous. They were perfect, and it made me all the more want to achieve this farming objective of having Firecrest Easter Eve pull this forecart. Eventually, we'll get in and have her pull what we need in order to do our farming as well. She just chewed her lips, too. Oh, she just chewed her lips, licked her lips which is another sign of relaxation. And I'm glad I said all of this while these shafts were right here. Now you walk out, we're gonna leave the shafts here. You walk out, very nice. No sign of stress, can you pull it back now? Got it? Yeah. Okay, 
We were short staffed today, but I thought with winter coming, we better get as much done as we can and as safely as we can. And we have shown you our next step in training Eve to pull the forecart for farming. Our next session with Eve, we're going to take another tiny baby step, we hope. When we took her, her tack off last time, we, we took these tug straps and did a lot of shaking around her. She's felt them before, but we needed to review with her that these tug straps are going to be touching her in various places. Look at her left rear, it's cocked. Her head is good, her ears are back, she's listening to me. I look at every square inch of their body to see what their bodies are telling me about what's going on in their head. We're going to do this today. We've got an arm extension. I'll hand it to Sarah, just in case she needs it. Uh, and Kyle, my cameraman, is going to come up and help me to bring the four cart to Eve. We're not going to open the gate yet. We'll only open the gate if we get to the next step. First, we want to make sure that this tug strap reaches the eye bolt for the four cart. Then we're going to pull the four cart back, open the gate, and walk Eve through the gate. Uh, and we're going to see if she's going to be calm, stress-free. That's what we're trying to get is softness wherever we're asking requests from her. Uh, and whatever we're trying to do, softness, lightness, stress-free, resistance-free reactions, responses. Eve is a, a kind of a right brain introvert, and I'm trying to adjust my training to accommodate her. Now, Charles Wilhelm uh, has a different categorization of seven different types of personalities. The right brain introvert personality designation comes from Pirelli. If you want to understand uh, what Pirelli's four uh, categories are of personalities, because you really want to try to think about that when you decide how you're going to train. Okay, Kyle, if you can leave the earphones coming up here. It's all right, Eve. I don't want to be sneaky. I'm being really obvious. She's still relaxed. Good girl, Eve. But, you know, it's been a few days since we did this. Uh, this four cart makes a noise. We'll be in camera's view in a moment. It's all right, Eve. All right, Eve. Okay, let's stop for a minute. We're doing this in small, tiny baby sets. Good girl. She's looking. She's looking, but her back leg is still cocked. Good girl, Eve. It's making a lot of squeaky noises. It's an old hay cart. It's all right, Eve. It's all right, Eve. Good girl. So far, so good. That back leg is still cocked. We're taking the shafts up to her shoulder. It's all right. All right. Now she looked. Can you go closer to the front of the shaft and hold it up now? Remembering that if she spooks, we need to back it off. Got it? And I'm letting this shaft go. I wish we had another person, but we don't. Okay. We're trying to be frugal in this economy. I'm doing a quick release. Taking this tug strap off. Very nice. Look, her back leg is still cocked. She's watching me, but she's not looking upset. Okay, I'm, go I'm putting the quick release through the eye bolt of this four cart. It's all right, Eve. It looks perfect to me. This is the first time I've actually connected. I'm not going to do it on the other side today. Quick release. Good girl, Eve. Good girl. Let me hang it back up on her collar for now. Let's back off. It's all right, Eve. Talk to her all the time. It's making noises. It's all right, Eve. Good girl. Good girl. Let's put it back a few steps. And you stay here, Kyle, in case we have trouble. No, I'll tell you what. You go back to the camera in case we have trouble. I'll try to zoom in on what trouble we're having, and I'm going to describe it if we're having trouble. Okay, now we're going to ask her to go through this gate. Walk up to the green building, Sarah. Very nice. Go over the rails. Always give them a chance to think about what, where they're moving, what they're moving over. That's good. It gives them uh, a thought process 
to use when they're being uh, using horses. Very important. They get bored too. Come back in as you approach. I'm gonna this time. I'm gonna put this gate out here. Do the same thing. She didn't really watch where her feet were. She stepped on the rails. Let's see if she watches this time where her feet are. If you can zoom in, Kyle. Perfect. She didn't touch the rails that are just on the ground. Perfect. Very nice, Evie. One more thing. Just um, go over there a little closer to Kyle. You know, we've done it now several times here in this corner. You know, but can we do it a little closer to the camera today, not being in this corner? I'm going to keep this gate open because we don't need it closed right now since we're not using this corner. Okay. Now, Kyle, we're going to move this bit, this four cart around her and see if she'll let us bring the shafts up to the sides of her body there, where she is. Now, we haven't had the sprinklers on for a few days because we had a leak and we fixed it, so it's not slippery out here. I'm bending down to pick up, what, a pine cone. That could scare her if she accidentally stepped on it. If she didn't understand, here's another one. Okay, we're going to bring the, the shafts up to her so that we could hitch her to the fork cart wherever we want to. That's true softness. Will she be soft facing the south here? You have the camera on us? Okay, it's going to make noise again. I'm having Kyle help. Can you go further? Up? No, I'll tell you what, we'll just back it off. Good. We, we need to approach her from a straight path. Now her back leg is not cocked at this moment. She's a bit concerned. She's looking at me out of her left eyeball. It's all right, Eve. We may not even put the shafts up by her side. I just want her to hear them today. It's all right. It's all right. Let's back off a little bit and try to approach her with a straight path so that the shafts don't accidentally touch her if we don't feel she's ready. How will I know if she's ready? I'm watching every square inch of her body to tell me <laughs> if she's stressed. It's all right, Eve. It's all right. It's all right. Now, let, let me, uh, no, you touch, you touch her right hip. Good girl. Good girl. She, her, her head came off, huh? Sarah? Yeah. I'm going to touch her left hip. Good girl. Now we're going to put the shafts. She's watching. Whoa. And uh, this isn't, pull, pull it back. Yeah, this isn't flat ground. So the shafts kind of went further than I wanted. I'm going to go up to the front of the bridge and we're going to back off. We're on a hill here. Okay. Let's back off and up and put the shafts down. And now I'm going to say that we've reached our moment of resolution today. For the first time this morning, I watched a show by Pirelli about driving. I've never seen such a show on the Pirelli RFD TV uh, show. Uh, but uh, you know, we're doing everything right, according to the expert that Pirelli used to talk about uh, getting a horse, any kind of horse, depending upon their personalities, to be a good driving horse. Now, a four cart is not a pleasure cart, but it is a cart. And uh, we've done a lot of desensitization with Eve with the cart. And according to the expert this morning on RFD TV, if you can get that horse that you're trying to train to drive uh, to just not even, you see what Eve is doing? She's checking it out. He, he said, we hope that we can get our horses to not even notice it, not even be curious about it. Then you can be pretty confident that you can safely go on to the next step of hitching the horse to the cart and putting even even putting the tack on. He went through it step by step. We've done everything correctly. So uh, last time we uh, brought the cart shafts up to Eve without her being in front of a fence and she was good. We're going to do it again here now and uh, then 
Unfortunately, we're on the brink of winter. It might be an early rainy season. I don't know how much we're going to get done out here in our pasture setting, but uh, we know if we can bring the cart up to her without having to have her st stay in front of a fence, that we probably are going to uh, very soon be able to hitch her to the cart. But we'll do it one baby step at a time. And my cameraman's going to come and help. He's going to leave the camera on us. You just try to straighten her out as much as you can. That's it. You see this, Kyle? <laughs> we have to fix this. This is an old hay cart, and it's kind of falling apart, but it's good for training purposes and maybe even for driving purposes if we feel that it's safe. It's all right, Eve. Okay, girl. It's all right, Eve. We got this far up to her hips last time. Notice she's not. Oh, and it's making noise. Look at her ears. You're pretty sure the camera's on us? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Eve. That's it. Very nice. She's watching me. She's watching me, but she doesn't seem to be stressed, although her back leg is not cocked. We're going up to the shoulders. It's all right, Eve. Good, Eve. Good. Now, let's just stand here for a moment, and let me tell you that we decided we don't even have to put the tack on. We've done all the tack many times. It's about to rain. We just wanted to do this next step. That's all right, Eve. Now, I'm in strike zone, so I'm gonna move back a little bit. Oh, wait, I'm gonna ask us to touch her ribs with these shafts. Just very, it's all right, Eve. She might go forward, Sarah. It's all right, Eve. Ah, she kinda flinched a little bit, looked a little bit. Can you touch your yeah. side? Very little. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's still not totally relaxed, but she's not bolting. She's just flinching. Let's back up. It's all right, Eve, slowly. Back up. Back up. Very nice, Eve. Very nice. We're going to uh, bring that cart to Eve wherever we decide to do it, even if it's in my covered square pen. If we feel that we need to desensitize her more, we're going to get her so that she considers that cart no more threatening than a fence. It's just something around her. And we're going to get so that she isn't even curious about it. That four cart is like an obstacle. And we've done a lot of obstacles work here at Chadrack Farms. We have ranch versatile horses. Each obstacle, each trail ride has potential obstacles that they've never seen. What we need to get them to do, each individual Morgan Mare that we work with here, is to focus on our requests and to trust us. And we need to trust them. And then we'll be able to accomplish our goals and enjoy doing it. See more at www.urbancowgirlchannel.com.